Many of you remember where you were. January 4th, 1998. Today marks 25 years since the historic ice storm. NBC5's Amanda Martin Ryan caught up with some key players during the event to hear more about the storm's impacts that we're still seeing today. Our area is no stranger to winter weather, but according to National Weather Service meteorologist Scott Whittier, the ice storm of 1998 is something our region hadn't seen before or since. We could see that this was going to be an epic historical event with uh, going from an impactful situation to a life-threatening uh, situation and an, a, an event that uh, has not been seen in the North Country ever. NBC5's Tom Messner covered the storm and the days leading up to it. Far, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. He describes it as unforgettable. It was the most interesting situation I'd ever seen up to that point and probably in my whole career. The sights and especially sounds. It's oh hard. my God. Seemed like something out of a children's book. Yes, everything looked different, but there was this sound of crunching that just wouldn't give up. You could hear branches breaking. You could hear um, the rain continuing to come down, but the branches breaking and power poles falling to the ground, that was the big thing. The sound was just amazing and it went on for, for so long. But as impressive as the ice seemed, the weight of it was too much for power lines. Kelly Donahue with Clinton County Emergency Services recalled what recovery efforts were like when the storm hit. That was the largest mutual aid response for New York State was when the 1998 ice storm had occurred. And we um, maxed out the resources uh, with regard to um, personnel coming up, uh, equipment, as well as generators. Uh, we maxed out pretty much a lot of the generators throughout the United States. Those generators were the saving grace for some, but fatal to others. The greatest loss of life that occurred across the North Country was due to carbon monoxide poisoning due to people using alternate uh, sources for uh, for heat and for electrical power. Though the storm claimed 34 lives, it taught essential safety lessons for winter storms that follow. In Plattsburgh, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.